Hey everybody, my name is Alex. I'm a zookeeper here at the Calgary Zoo and welcome to your daily dose. Uh, we are here today with the Japanese macaques, um, who in my humble opinion are the best animals at the zoo. Uh, these are the monkeys that you see in a lot of the pictures in the hot springs. Um, so that's actually a behavior that's not very typical for them. That's kind of uh, a learned behavior in one group of monkeys in one area of Japan. Um, but those are the monkeys a lot of people associate with them. Uh, we have seven Japanese macaques in here, um, two family groups. So we have dad named Chaplin, two moms, and they each have two daughters. So Japanese macaques have very complex social structures. Um, they're actually a lot like the way people imagine wolves to be, although wolves aren't this way. So they're very, very rigid hierarchies where it's uh, it's a male, it's an adult male at the top of that hierarchy. And below that will be a dominant female and any of her female offspring. Below that will be um, another mom and, and her daughters. Uh, so they inherit their mother's rank, if that makes sense. So Shauna and her two daughters, Sachi and Suki are the least dominant uh, monkeys in this group. And you'll often, uh, you can tell them they're a little bit blonder, a little bit smaller in stature. Um, and then we have Lori is our other female and her two daughters, Mika and Loki, who, who are the more dominant females. These guys compete for resources. So you'll see often, well, you'll, you'll see a monkey feeding in here, then another monkey will come along and displace them and start eating their food. And that's it, like that's a normal monkey, that's a normal Japanese macaque response. So these guys are pretty unique in that they're they're very weather hardy. Um, so as far as primates go, these guys are quite tolerant of the cold. Um, they're quite tall, they love snow. Um, so they, I mean, they do have building access all year round, even in the, in the quite cold weather. Um, but you'll see these guys often out on colder days, you know, searching in the snow for food items, browsing on branches, um, you know, being quite surprisingly hardy in the cold weather. So one of the challenges with working with primates is that they're very, very smart and they're very social. So um, the great and terrible thing about working with them is, is because they're so smart, they're so interactive with, with everything we do. Um, so they're really, really fun to do enrichment things with. Uh, and it's a really important part of their, of their day to keep their brains healthy, to keep their bodies healthy, and keep them busy. Uh, so what we do with them, like what I've done today is scattered food all over the yard, um, hidden it in different items. Uh, we've got some different brows in there. So like some old Christmas trees. We've got some willow brows that we grow here as part of our, our enrichment browse program for our animals. They spend a lot of their day looking for food and then they spend a lot of their day, you know, breaking things open, um, tearing off the bark off of items, breaking open fruit or vegetables and eating them. So it's important that we mimic those behaviors to keep them busy and active and stimulated. Um, so of course, because we provide all of their diet for them, we need to set it up in a way that they have to interact with. 